Nicole Ward, and I want to continue with the part two of adultification of childhood, adultification of African American children with a concentration on the adultification of black females. I want to pick up with the part two in the context of how do we address this situation with clinicians? How do we address this situation with colleagues? How do we address this in the community? And how do we address the adultification of black children with the families that we work with? It's important to keep in mind that adultification isn't just only dehumanizing, adultification compromises the context and, and the social and developmental processes of children. Um, and prematurely and inappropriately exposes children to adult information, adult knowledge with the assumption that um, the children can process this information. So I think how we can address this as clinicians, how we can address this with our colleagues, how we can address this in treatment with the families that we work with is making sure that people understand what childhood is and the expectations surrounding childhood and the expectations surrounding um, children that are adultified. These expectations being out of the norm, these expectations being that children are expected to have this certain knowledge that they, that they don't have and puts them at a disadvantage and the expectations are unrealistic. Childhood is a time for children to play and to grow strong and confident and have love and encouragement from their families and from extended communities and caring adults. I think that as clinicians and with our colleagues that we can help model this and help create a condition for children to have a quality of life as children and the ability to play. I think that we need to be assertive in establishing and being responsive to these caring relationships for children in our community so that children can thrive and they can be in a nurturing environments. I was speaking with a client the other day, it was a black female, and she had made a comment that her, um, her family member had said that she was acting grown. And she had said to me that I really try not to act grown, but I don't even know what it is. And so I looked at it on the other hand, not what it is to be grown, because that was so foreign to her. She didn't have that knowledge and that life experience to even conceptualize what it was to be grown. But I really encouraged her to identify what it is to be a child. And she didn't identify that from her point of context, but from the point of context of much younger family members, much younger children in her family. And she was able to say that, that children play and that children don't get in trouble and that children don't have these expectations to do certain things, um, which included having sex, um, that children have this freedom to be that children can watch TV and that the work uh, that is expected from a child isn't that level of work that is expected from an adult and that children can run around naked and that children can can play at the park. Um, and so I think that it's it's helpful for us to help people identify sometimes what is expected of a child and for adults to identify what's expected of an adult and what's expected of a child and put things in perspective for children, allowing children the space, allowing black children in particular the space to be who they need to be and to be protected. My name is Nicole Yvette Ward. I work as a licensed marriage and family therapist. I'm sex positive. I'm a black female. I'm a black woman now. And before I was a black woman, I was a black girl. You all have a great day.